So you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel and you're not sure what your first video should be. Well, lucky for you, I just started this YouTube channel and I did a lot of research before starting this new channel. As of right now, I have like five subscribers, six subscribers. I posted a couple videos, nothing's really taken off yet. Check back with me in three years and let's see if that's still the case. But I thought I would have a little chat with those of you out there who are thinking about starting your own YouTube channels because YouTube is badass. And for multiple reasons. One, it's a way of expressing yourself. Two, you can make a lot of money from it. That shouldn't be your goal though, because YouTube is a grind for the first however months, years it takes you to get monetized and get to that level. Um, everybody's different. And I kind of want to make this as like a little motivational thing for those of you out there debating starting YouTube or debating what your channel should be or even debating what your first video should be, which is what I'm talking about today. And honestly, my answer is going to be something very simple. You're probably expecting something long and drawn out and there's so much like research out there and there's so many different, you know, like opinions and advice. And honestly, I went through a shit ton of them, like before I even started this channel. So I'm gonna literally compress the big points for you and hopefully give you some motivation. Well, for starters, <laughs> fly. Don't think too hard on it. And just start and like the video topic honestly it's not that important but I would say make sure your video is giving value back to someone in some way I mean if you wanted to start a vlog and talk about your life yeah that's cool but honestly bitter hard truth nobody really cares who you are at least at the start. Eventually, once you have an audience, people will care about you, the person, and what you're doing, and will watch your vlogs. Or if your vlogs are just crazy, out of this world interesting, you'll get some traction. But in general, most people aren't gonna watch it or most people are not gonna be interested in it. So start off by making a video that gives value to the world in some way. You could be teaching something, you could be talking about something, you could be motivational, how to cope with this, how to deal with this, figure out what your strong suits are. As in, what are the life experiences that you have gone through that have made you stronger and really sit down and reflect on this for a little bit. So that way, Car's coming, it's about to get really loud here. I'll cut, hold on. So that way, <laughs> um, you're giving value to people and you could be teaching something. And it, honestly, we all have value to give just by the very fact of you existing and being alive. You've gone through shit. You might not even realize you've gone through shit, but everybody has gone through shit and everybody has value to offer. But the hard part is actually sitting down with yourself and you know, figuring out what's all the shit I've gone through and how can I turn that into content to help other people out? And that, you know, that takes a little time. Give it a couple weeks, brainstorm on it, think about it, write about it. But then once you have a little bit of an idea and a direction, you need to capitalize on it and go hit the record button. Most people don't even hit record. Um, just hit record. It doesn't have to be a fancy video. It doesn't have to be edited beautifully. And honestly, another word of advice, Mo, you should expect your first 100 videos to just suck ass. Make them as good as you can. Don't be obsessed about them being perfect because they won't. You're gonna learn the video editing, the cutting, the editing, the sound, the audio, copyright music, you know, affiliate links, marketing. You're, can, all that will come. So even if you're doing it like this, like this video here, minimally edited, I'm hitting record, I'm shooting it all in one go, and I'm just gonna put it out there in the world and see what happens. That's what you gotta do, keep doing it. And in time, you'll learn to edit more and more. And I have a gaming channel I've been working on, and same thing with that one. I just started making videos, the first ones were ass, honestly, maybe they're still a little ass, but people are liking them, people are enjoying them. And uh, you know, I'm just like, I need my video editing to be better. I'm, I'm not good enough, it's not good enough. But people are enjoying it. And I'm getting better at video editing. I'm learning skills. Even if this channel doesn't take off, I've learned a lot of skills, like right now in this one sitting. How to be confident in front of camera, how to talk to my phone like it's a real human being. 
<laughs> um, how to upload to YouTube, how to edit your videos, how to add an end screen, you know, just the journey is so rewarding. And I think I want this to just motivate you. Like the topic of your video isn't that important. As long as it's a way of giving value to someone, I think it'll be all right. Maybe no nobody views it today, next week, but you gotta just stay consistent, keep uploading. YouTube is a grind. I only started this channel like two, three weeks ago, and I already can tell it's gonna be a grind because my other channels have failed because I was not consistent. I lost the motivation. I didn't look at my channel as a business. I didn't believe in the dream. Honestly, I was making content, I was making videos, but like, I guess I just didn't believe that I, I could make it and I just, I don't know, I kind of gave up, fizzled out, lost momentum, but this time I'm here and this time I'm gonna do some damn work and I'm just gonna stay consistent, man, and, and we'll see. Maybe it takes off, maybe it doesn't, but if it doesn't, at least I have those experiences. So guys, don't be too picky about your first video. You gotta just, one, pick a video topic that gives value to the world in some way but two not just any topic like you could go teach people how to brush your teeth but if you're not passionate about it if you're not interested in brushing your teeth like that even though you're damn good at it you're gonna fizzle out your tooth brushing YouTube channel is just not gonna take off because you're gonna be like, oh god now we're going over Colgate and now we're going over Listerine another car one second perfect uh, <laughs> um, you gotta be a little bit picky with your, your topics, as in you have to pick a channel or a niche that you can talk about for days and days and days and that you could make like a hundred videos about and you'd still be interested in it because YouTube at the end of the day is a grind, it is work, but, keyword but, if you enjoy doing it and enjoy talking about it, then <laughs> literally, it's not gonna feel like work. YouTube is work, so make sure, one, your video gives value to somebody. Two, your topic and your niche for your channel is something interesting that you're actually motivated to make content about. And just keep doing that, because if you enjoy talking about a certain topic, like for example, this channel right now, I'm still trying to figure out my voice. I'm into traveling, mental health, talking about depression, relationships, dealing with like, you know, alcohol abuse, because you know, I've wrestled with these things and topics in the past and you know I've overcome all of it it's almost two years sober now um you know still single but I'm dating someone right now and it's it's going pretty good I don't want to jinx it modern dating sucks ass but you know I'm passionate about talking about dating I could talk about that a shitload I could talk about you know sobriety and mental health because honestly cutting alcohol out of my life biggest game changer for my overall mood and mental health like I literally feel amazing almost every single day and I've gotten so much peace of mind by not relying on a substance. You know, just stuff like this. Like I can make tons of videos about it and you could probably tell, you can feel the passion and the energy in my voice because like, I'm interested in that stuff. So right now my channel, for example, I'm, I'm playing around, I'm uploading different kinds of videos. Some of them are like self-development, some of them are motivational, some of them are like travel related. And the next step guys, one, give value to the world in your videos. Two, make sure it's a topic you're interested in. And three, number three. At number three, give yourself some wiggle room to play around. Like the good thing about a channel being brand new and being early on in your YouTube adventures is that you're not in a box. You're, you're not the blank guy yet. You're not the skate skater guy or the toolbox guy or the cell phone guy. Like if you're interested in like cell phones, but like also traveling, but also like mental health, just make videos for all three and then just put it out there in the world and see what takes off. And then the topics that people are enjoying you talk about, double down on those, niche down on those and start making more content related to those. For example, on my gaming channel, you know, I do killer style videos. Like there's two factions, killers, and survivors and i do i think i said I did killer videos no i do mainly survivor videos because as my channel was in its infant stages most people enjoyed watching my survivor content and not as many people watch my killer content i still do a few killer videos but i double down and mainly put out survivor content because that's pretty much where my audience is at and then with this youtube channel here 
I don't know what my audience wants yet, so I'm doing all kinds of videos. If you go back and look at all my videos I've posted, I've got some about dating, some are about solo traveling, some are about sobriety and alcohol, and, and this one right here, this is about what should your first YouTube video be? Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I just hope this motivates someone out there who's debating on starting a YouTube channel to do it because I think the upsides are just crazy good. One, you can make a living from it. Two, you make a living being creative and being yourself. Three, it's a creative outlet. I'm using creative a lot. Four, it's like leaving a legacy. Let's say you die tomorrow and you leave loved ones behind. I mean, they can look at your pictures and stuff on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Maybe you have some TikToks, but if you have a YouTube channel, then it's like you just, you leave your message with the world. And that for me feels absolutely amazing. Even if like this channel doesn't take off for a very long time, I'm still gonna stick with it. I'm still gonna make videos and I'm still gonna be passionate about it because I think the upsides greatly outweigh the downsides. The downsides being, you know, you might not grow for some time and that's okay. So after you click off this video, go record your first video. Pick a topic, anything, give value to the world, make sure you're interested in it, and then give yourself room to play around and just put whatever videos out in the world you want. And then when they start to take off, focus on those. Anyways guys, Sammy Stark signing out. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what your thoughts are, and subscribe to the channel um, because I love you. I really do. <laughs> Eight. I'm out. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never